So what we're here today is to highlight a collaborative activity with a major uh, manufacturer in the auto market, which is General Motors. They've spent a great deal of time and energy developing advanced capabilities for vehicle systems. And uh, we've entered into an agreement with them where we are leveraging a lot of their innovation. We are introducing it to the military world and experience, and we're evaluating whether that technology offers the same benefits to a warfighter as it does to a commercial client. If you could take all the skin off of this vehicle and look underneath, you would see basically what is a Chevrolet Colorado with many of the underpinnings that support the ZR2, which is a production vehicle. And the advanced suspension system that's on this vehicle has been all uh, designed so that it can provide the off-road mobility and leverage the technology of the fuel cell, which is an electric drive system. It gives you a very broad torque range over a wide speed operating range. So that's very good for off-road mobility, for climbing steep terrain, and, and just the all overall mobility of the vehicle. Like in the back end of the vehicle, we've introduced a clamshell uh, hatch, which underneath it, if you're not using it for cargo carrying, there's a box in there. And that is leveraging another aspect of the fuel cell, which is unique to fuel cells, that we can produce a lot of power and export it for other uses. 25 kilowatts of power continuously, or 50 kilowatts peak. And we can do that by conditioning the power that comes out of the fuel cell system, and we can make it 120 or 240 volts, depending upon what your need is when you're in a stationary power generation application. You'll also notice some other things with the vehicle, like the integrated winch up in the front bumper, and um, a few other things inside the cab. Even though the cab looks very much like the production vehicle, you'll notice that we added Recaro seats with better harnesses to handle the off-road rugged terrain that these vehicles will encounter while also protecting the occupants. This vehicle is focused primarily on the future, trans uh, future mobility and uh, powertrain. Uh, uh, market. So General Motors has put a great deal of time and effort into developing fuel cell technology that will propulsion, be the propulsion for a vehicle system. So what we're doing here and what this vehicle is, is a transition of that technology into a military relevant platform. And the mobility of this vehicle has been modified to be uh, uh, representative of how we use vehicles in a military environment. So we're going to be taking this vehicle and its propulsion system and we're going to be going around to different bases around the country. We're going to be introducing it to soldiers and Marines. We're going to let them uh, use the vehicle in some of their operational training events. And then we're going to be collecting their feedback on the relevancy of the technology, the positives and the negatives of it. And then in parallel to that, we're working with the Department of Energy to evaluate how we would produce hydrogen, distribute and store hydrogen in a battlefield scenario.